start. We're going to go back to Sarah. Do you think we've got time to squeeze another demonstration, Sarah? Well, I've actually just made a start already on all of my matting and layering because I was worried that we weren't going to have enough time to do the whole demonstration. So what I'm doing is I'm making myself up here a Z-fold card jaw because I'm going to put, I'm going to do some more form flowers and I'm going to put the form flowers on the Z-fold card. Perfect. Now, can I just say, I've got nowhere near as much done in this show as I wanted to. So I'm going to make the executive decision that we will absolutely be looking at this collection again in the show later 69. tonight. 69. 69 left. Ooh. Is that all that's left to check yes. out? Please get checked out, guys. Please get checked out. Uh, oh, and then this one needs to go on as well. Cynthia right. says, will the OG plates fit in the Pro? They will. Yeah, you can turn the original Gemini plates sideways and they will go through your Pro. I love how we call that the OG plates. Uh, the Pro plates are on the website, by the way, on the 3 for 2 as well, or...? Absolutely, right, look what I'm going to do. I've, I've just done myself a nice Z-fold card with what I am now going to term the nicest papers we've ever done in the Sarah Signature Collection. I'm just going to put my neck on the line and I'm going to say that, that there because the I, ever. I think they're the nicest Whoa, ever papers. Whoa, big talk there, I've done a, in a Sarah I do. I think, I think they are the nicest papers, right? So that's going to be my nice base. Remember I said to you about these frames, I'm a little bit obsessed with these frames. Right, so I just I think if you want a really nice base to your card that you're going to use for some of your form flowers and whatnot, if you get one of these frames, cut one out of the linen card, and one out of the um, one out of just some white card, and shadow them, it makes the most delightful base onto a card. Look at that. That's going to be absolutely gorgeous, right? So I'm going to go down on here, get all this on, and that is going to give me a perfect base to then set some of my foam flowers on. And we're going back on foam flower making 101 to decorate this, awesome. right? So there we go. There's my nice base. Now we just need to do the flowers, right? Now, there was a lot of people before said they hadn't done foam flowers, right? So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to do some different techniques on the foam flowers. So if you've never done foam flowers before, guys, these are the tools that I would recommend that you get, okay? So these are them here. They are our ball tools. Now, we do the ball tools, and they also come with the foam in, right? So you can get the ball tools and the foam. Now, yes, we brought them out to do foam flower, but they're actually just really useful ball tools because they're nice and big. I like to use them when I'm holding my designs down onto my iron, right? They're much bigger than something like a parchment tool, aren't they, Sarah? They are a lot bigger than a parchment tool. Now, we're going to do it. So last time we did the uh, foam flower, if I just remind you, we did a one like this, which is what I like to call a cuppy technique where the, f the petals cup up. What we're going to do this time is a totally different look flower and we're going to do a bubbly technique, but also I've cut a different petal, right? Okay. So what I've done with this one, let me just make sure I've got the... It's from the... Uh, ro no, which set's it from? The peony. These are from my peony, right? So I've cut out some small, some medium and some large peonies, right? Now, when you're doing the bubble technique, you're going to take this, you're going to lie it on here, we're just going to hold it in place like this, moving it round all the time. Before it dries, this time, turn it over like this and then pop this in the middle. So can you see that? So it's going to dry in like a bubble shape. Okay, so I'm going to do the same again. I'm going to hold it on here and it's going to come into like a bubble shape. And then once it's in that bubble shape, it's going to set so that we can start and assemble it together as a flower. So I'm going to pop these on here and again, they're starting to go wrinkly, wrinkly, and then can you see that? They're forming into like a little ball there, right? So I'm doing the same here. Wrinkly, 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 wrinkly. Drop it down into a little ball, right? And I'm just not going to touch these because they're nice, nice size there, right? Amazing. Now, got all my pieces. Get some stamens, and if you don't have any, we've got loads on the website. I've just taken some of the white stamens and threaded them onto a little bit of wire, and I'm going to assemble my flower together, right? So... Get these up here. These are going to go in the middle and you're going to start with the smallest first and work your way up. So, into the middle of the small one, poke it on your pokey tool. Into the middle of the next one, you're going to poke it in the middle here on your pokey tool. And I'm just going to feed them round there so that it's forming into like a whole flower shape and it's just coming. There we go. So we've got a nice like centrepiece in the middle of our flower. Yep, so it's easy. to Make sure that from the front so you can see. Right, so once we've got our centrepiece, you're going to go in and you're going to pick up the small one, and then we're going to pick up the next one, 
we're going to pick up the next couple of size ones so going up all in this like cuppy feel as it was then i'm going on to the bigger ones and i'm picking up one of the bigger see you've got a nice big stabbing piece in the middle so Perfect. it's nice and open and so we're feeding all of those in so now i've got that lovely cuppy flower and once you've got that cup in shape and because you can you can these are pliable now joe because they've now set and they've gone cool right so we can open all this up in the center and we're not actually damaging the form i can lift that out and i can thread through the stamens into what was that little gap there pull the stamens all the way through Perfect. and then a little bit of glue on the back it's so simple when you know how There's isn't it there you go a little bit of glue on the back means that's all going to set and that's how we get a cuppy flower, right? Uh, there is probably a proper word for them. I've just made that word up, right? So you want to do a cuppy flower, that's how you go. That's I'm not the Latin name one. for that, that flower. No, no, it's <laughs> a bit different, right? Next one I'm going to do a little bit different. I'm going to bring in our finger ruffler, right? This is how your finger ruffler works, okay? Oh, so I was just asking about how you use this, actually. It's perfect timing. Oh, perfect. <clears throat> well, what I'm going to do is I've cut out a couple of the... Um, the same again, the, the peonies, right? The petal distress tool as well. Oh, it yeah. On the website? I mean, obviously, it's what quite do you a call fancy it? The finger ruffler. Yeah, the finger ruffler. I'm going to ruffle this one, right? So, watch what we're going to do here, right? We're going to take these, we're going to place them on the iron. One, two, drop, right? Once you've got them heated up, I'm going to use the petal distress tool uh, <laughs> <laughs> to distress my petals, right? And then open them back up and it's going to set in that shape. So can you see, it started off life like this, now it looks like this. Let me do another one for you so you can see, right? So, onto here. One, two, it's hot enough, bring it off, fold it all together. Petal distress tool to the action, mm. right? Distress these as much as you want. If you get a little bit too carried away and they're a little bit too ruffled together, you can always just open out these petals and actually you can even go one step further if you've got the ball tools and shape them around the ball tools if you want. And I've done loads of techniques like this teaching you how to shape all of these petals, right? So I'm going to do that with the other two, Joe. And then you can watch me and I'm just going to assemble the flower together like we did the last one. As long as you're keeping an eye on me, we're all good to go. So I'm taking my biggest ones, Joe, and I'm just going to place one petal over the next, right? And just manoeuvre that into place so that we've got the little petals. And then I'm going to go the same with the next one. I'm feeling the pressure because I know we're getting near to the end of the show and I want to make sure mm. I get all of this. I want to finish my card off as well. Um, oh, we need to do the draw for demo of the show, don't we? We, we don't, we've not been having a demo of the show in birthdays. No. Oh. So we can just say your card of the week if you want. Yes, that's it. Let's sit. Oh, do you know just what? Just put another stick on. I mean, I have been questioning the legitimacy of some of those stars has been questioned over the last few weeks, Sarah. Uh, well, I'm not being funny, but you know. It's my prerogative. <laughs> uh, and, and can I just say as well, I'm in on Sunday this week. So right. I was pretty much banking on well, winning card of the week. You're in on Sunday this week, the one we're doing Sunday card doing, of the week. I'm in on Sunday doing an um doing a masterclass for the Ooh. ultimate pro. If I don't win Demo of the Week, as I'm not being funny, if I don't win Demo of the Week with something amazing with my Ultimate Pro, I'm not even talking to you all anymore, right? <laughs> so I'm just going to put that out there. Right, let's have a little look. Where's my cuppy one now? So there's my cuppy one. And where did I put my scissors? You know, I've got stuff everywhere, haven't I? I made a right old mess. Uh, I will be tidying up, guys, before beautiful beginnings. So, right, I've got a cuppy flower. I've got a bubbly flower. Now, I'm not going to have time to make all the others, but I've done a bit more with more ruffling in here, right? I used the other one, so this one here was the chrysanthemum, and I did the cuppy technique using the different sizes of the chrysanthemums. So the cuppy technique that I taught you earlier, right? That was the one that you saw me do earlier, which was the bubbly one. And then watch what we're going to do. I've cut out a couple of the, um, oh, what's the word, George? leaves. I've cut out loads of leaves, and I've also cut some out of cardstock, because I want you to see, so there's some out of cardstock, and in the cardstock ones, I'm just shaping them with my fingers. 44 left, Sarah. Uh, do you and know there's what? so many in baskets. There's so many more than that in baskets at the moment. So we need to find out how many are in baskets. You, they're because they're going to otherwise. If it's in your basket, you're not checking it out. Yes. Oh, pl please do. You can do it between. You can stay at the end of the show now. You can do it between the shows, guys. Right. Let's have a little look. There and will we'll be a demo as well in the later show, Johnny is saying. 
Sarah's made that executive decision. I think we're all oh, aware. Oh, I've got, I've got so much stuff that I want to do in that later show as well, though. I mean, I could literally just stay all night with the amount mm. of demos that I've got planned. However, we do need to sleep as it's birthday, and there's even more exciting shows again tomorrow. Yeah, so oh, you oh. know. Okay, um, a whole day of shows tomorrow. Leanne will be here with Craig for Wake Up Call. Uh, me and Leanne have got a massive Leanne cartload tomorrow night. Oh, it's going to be awesome. Well, of course you have. Me and Leanne this, me and Leanne <laughs> that. Um, you guys were really funny yesterday, by the way. I was watching, I was down at Hobby Maker and I was watching some of your shows in the car on the way home. Loved it. Right. So we've got leaves going on, Joe. And then on top of my leaves, I'm going to add some of my flowers. I'm quite pleased. I love, I love doing flower cards. Thirty-five left. Craigie oh. Moses. Squeaky bum time, as we right. say. Right here we go. I'm going to go with that one down there. Right. Look how easy it is as well. By the way, when you lose the, use the glue gun, isn't it just nice and so simple? So simple, and isn't it? Right. I'm going to do this one down here next to it. You can pop in there, yes. Now, I like bunching them up a lot. That's my top tip with these. Let's go with me bubbly one. Here we go. And let's do the bubbly one. Notice I'm always like tucking them into each other. And then you can always come and like um, fluff the flowers up around that. Yeah, so they look like real genuine flowers. Got me little chrysanthemum. You are gonna go in there. And then after me chrysanthemum, oh, then we've got me bubbly one, eh, me ruffly one that we did. Ruffly one can go up there as well, and then I really could have done with them leaves coming out a bit more, but I've already stuck them there. They are right. Oh, nice, right. And then that just needs a nice little sentiment. I've done a so very thankful. That's the of the show, is it? Um, well, I, I mean, I'm not being funny, but I've done it, I've done a few nice ones, haven't I? You have, right? Just, just, just be like you know, confident in myself. Why don't you just keep all your demos for the week and just let people vote on your demos alone on Sunday? I love, I love that. I love that. Ooh.